Hey everybody, Gandalf Zero 987, sporting my Xbox Live shirt today. I bought this a few years back on uh, eBay for just uh, three or five dollars, I think. I think it's what GameStop employees wore. It, wore. it has a Halo 2 spot on the back. Anyway, uh, really great pickups today. Um, I got some PlayStation goodies. I always love collecting for the PlayStation 1. It's such an awesome system. It's the first system I ever really owned on my own and it's what really got me back into modern gaming at the time. I got one back in 1995 I think it was or 96 and um, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, I got some gems and I think pretty good deals overall. Uh, first off I'm going to show a Sega Genesis game I found. This was at uh, eBay and it was a Canadian seller. Now this is a game I recently discovered for the Sega Genesis. Um, I saw it, I'd never heard of it. It looked interesting, so I played the ROM, I emulated it, and uh, it was actually quite fun. It's a beat em up set in, I think, the 1930s in the jungle. So that's kind of, it almost reminds me of Bio Billy in a lot of ways, except it plays a lot better and it's not as um, of a stupid game. Um, anyway, uh, this is a really interesting game. It's called Growl, and here's the Sega Genesis version. Now, it's a Taito game. Uh, I got the cartridge only, and um, it was an arcade game by Taito. Now, uh, you, you know Taito made a lot of awesome arcade games back in the day. I'd never heard of this one before. This one came out in 1991 for the Sega Genesis. On the front cover, you can see like a character. It looks like Indiana Jones and this guy next to him, and it looks like an ape and some elephants. It's got a really interesting story. Now, the Genesis version is close to the arcade, but much like Captain America, not quite up to par. However, it is, I thought, a lot of fun to play. I enjoy beat-em-ups, and this was actually a pretty good one. Now, this game's really pretty uncommon, to be honest. On Amazon, for some reason, it was $80 or more. On eBay, I only found uh, two or three cart copies, a few complete copies for way up there. It's probably 100 bucks or more. I paid uh, $22 for this. I think I, the total was actually 27 or 28 because I had to ship because it came from Canada. As you can see, it's in really nice condition. Uh, I cleaned it. It's actually quite clean. I'm just, I'm just happy to have it. It's just really interesting game. You should check it out. It's called Growl. Um, On to the PlayStation pickups. Uh, I'm gonna start with a Craigslist deal I found. Now, this Craigslist deal, I happen to be working. Uh, I, I travel for my job, and I happen to be in a certain area that was close. To an area that I'd seen on a Craigslist ad. Now, while I was at work, I was able to search the internet a little bit and just happened to find this PlayStation lot. This guy's had 18 PlayStation 1 games. He said they're all in excellent condition, and uh, basically, he wanted five dollars piece for each of them. And I thought, well, if there's some good titles, maybe it's worth it. I noticed a couple of the titles he had was Dune 2000, which can be like a twenty-dollar game complete or more. And then he had Strikers 1945, which I don't know if you know, but it's a shooter. Uh, quite an uncommon game. It can go for 20, 25 or more complete. I called him up. Um, I seem to have woken him up. This was only 10 a.m., but I woke the guy up. Um, he said he had them all except for Strikers 1945. Now, I was really disappointed um, because that was one of the games I really wanted. However... I decided to meet him anyway. I drew about 10 minutes from my job. I had just gotten off work, so the timing was perfect. And uh, I grabbed, I think, $15 cash out of the ATM because I wanted to get at least a few of these games. Now, Dune 2000, I definitely wanted to get, and it's one of the games he had. It is complete in mint condition. And um, I don't know what else to say. It's a strategy game. It's quite fun. It's uh, pretty easy to play, similar to Warcraft. Um, it has a lot of um, video, FM full motion video in it, which is always fun. Um, there's a, apparently link cable you can use to hook up, you know, all, more more TVs to play the game. Um, it's one to two players, and it does it is compatible with the mouse. I don't know if you've seen my previous videos, but I do have a PlayStation mouse by Mad Cat, so I got it brand new. Really looking forward to trying this out. 
I tried it out a little bit actually, but the con I don't understand how it works after reading the instructions. So maybe I'll try that out sometime soon. The other game I really wanted to have, since he didn't have strikers, was Fighting Force 2. Now this one actually had a little bit of smudges on it and little marks, but basically very good condition, near mint condition. Um, I played this some, and it's kind of a funny game. It's a it seems like an action game that's a lot like the first Fighting Force. However, um, it's a little different. You can use guns to more of a degree, and it's more action based. I don't know. It's just a different type of game. I might end up liking it. I just tried it for a few minutes. Um, I've got Space Invaders. This was a uh, one of them. Now, actually, this one and this Fantastic Journey Pro Pinball. I got for two fifty each. I said, "Can I have this one and this one for five and give you fifteen dollars for all four games?" So for all four of these games, he get uh, I just paid fifteen dollars. He was happy to do that. Um, really, none of the other tiles he had were interesting. He had like rocket team powered team rescue or whatever. Um, some kids games that really I didn't care about. Space Invaders. I played this a little bit. It's, it's interesting. It's really different from the arcade original. Um, this is like a really good quality pinball game. It only has one table, however. Um, the controls are simple. I didn't like how the controls were mapped because the circle button is how you control the right flipper and the left directional key button pressing left on the D-pad is how you use the left flipper. Now, I thought that was pretty poor. I'd like to use the triggers on the top. Anyway. This is like really good sound and it has vibration functionality, so that's always good. Makes it more realistic. Very pretty graphics, especially for PlayStation 1, is really sharp. But like I said, it just has the one table. This one and this one are, they look brand new. So does Dune 2000. So that was a Craigslist deal. Um, I'm going to move on to my next item. I got this, it received it in the mail right after I made my previous video. Um, this is Parasite Eve 2. Um, it is complete. It was listed very good condition on eBay. Um, it was actually like new condition. Uh, all of the, the both discs look like brand new. Um, it's got the manual, as you can see. Uh, I've been wanting this one for a while. It's actually not that rare. I'm going to be honest. It's really not rare. Uh, some play, people sell it for a high amount. It's uncommon. You don't see it much, but I. But it is on eBay plenty of times. There's plenty of copies. So anyway, it, but because it is kind of heading toward the uncommon games, and plus I just always, I love the first one. Parasite Eve was one of the first Squaresoft games I played on my PlayStation. I love the dark store. I love the Resident Evil style uh, gameplay. I love the RPG style gameplay. The sound and the graphics were awesome. They had pre-rendered graphics. Uh, I don't know what this one's like. I don't know if it does the same. I really don't know a whole lot about it at all. It's a really late release, 2000, which is probably makes it a little more uncommon. Um, here's the second disc. It's two discs like the original. Uh, I believe the original is two discs. Anyway, um, really interesting game. Just really wanted to have it to complete the Parasite Eve collection. This game... And I paid, I'm sorry, I paid $21 for this. He had it listed as a make an offer, and he had like 25 or 28 on it. I sent him a few offers, and then I, he sent me 21 I said, that's that's good for this condition and complete. I usually find it without the manual, whatever. Anyway, Discworld 2. Finally got this game. This game is actually pretty hard to find. It's quite hard to find, actually. Um, the, it's called Discworld 2 Mortality Bites. I believe it's on the PC. It might have a different title. Um, but <laughs> people say the first one's slow and boring, so you're not going to enjoy it. I actually enjoy it. I played it for at least 10 or 20 minutes, and I actually really like the game. And Plus, it's mouse compatible. You can't go wrong with that. So I really hope the lighting's good in my video. I don't know about the light here. Isn't that great? Um, Anyway, so that's that. Um, really fun little game. It's a adventure game, point and click adventure. You can use a controller, of course. Now, this is one of those things where this game was good, had a good price. I could find it for a low price, 
and this was like probably six or months or a year ago but now it's really hard to find you gotta pay like forty dollars or more for a complete copy luckily someone who sold books on amazon had it listed for twenty dollars plus shipping so i paid twenty four dollars for this um, I think it's totally worth the money. The disc has a little bit of wear, so I'm glad he listed it as good because it's got some light marks on it. However, it is complete, and that's the important thing, and it's in really nice condition overall. So glad to have that. Now, this is the cream of the crop I'm getting to at the end of my video. This is, this is an item that I've been waiting for. I don't know how long to get. I've been waiting for years to get this. I don't know why I put off buying it, it, in the past, it hadn't been that expensive. However, nowadays it's hard to find. And what what really got me into this was I thought I should look it up again on eBay. I looked it up again on eBay, and I discovered that someone had six copies uh, of a brand new six units um, of it, brand new. Um, I'm just going to tell you, it's the PS1 LCD screen. Now this is the original Sony brand. They did make some off brands, um, but this is it. This is the and it goes with the. It hooks onto the original PS1 system. Um, I don't believe it can hook up to anything else. I think people like to hack this, um, but anyway, it's just what it hooks up to. I did try it, tested it. This is a refurbished unit. Now, real quick, I'm just gonna tell you the eBay thing. He had six of them listed. Now he had with the controller, all the wires, the console, and this. Now it was it was new, but he had opened it. So basically all these were brand new. He had six of them. So I watched it because I didn't want to buy it right away. I planned on buying it later. Well, literally within 30 minutes to an hour later, it was completely sold out. Apparently someone had bought every single unit he had. So someone had bought every six all six units which I thought was insane and I guess you could almost say it was an impulse buy it really made me upset I traveled I uh, browsed over to Amazon um, discovered that the lowest price one was $40 um, now the one on on eBay complete was 45 and I was like man that's really good now that's actually what I paid for this but I had to pay 45 for this. It's refurbished, it's not new, and it's just the screen. Now the other one was like a whole new, brand new unit. So that was an awesome deal. I so wish I would've got it. The good news is, even though I didn't have this console, I had credit at eStarland.com. So I had enough credit to get this, plus an AC adapter, because you need a special AC adapter for these. And I got this now. That's that's the whole reason I got this was to use the screen. Make a long story short, I've been wanting this a long time. So glad to have it. I just hooked it up uh, about a half an hour ago. I played one of the best games for the PlayStation 1, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. And the colors are crisp. The sound, it gets really nice and loud. This unit actually includes a headphone jack in the back. So that's always nice. Um, you can actually leave this on the unit. There are external uh, AV out and uh, AC adapter outs so that you can plug in. Wow, I just realized that the headphone jack looks like it's missing the little connector knob on the end, but I don't think that matters too much. Anyway, nice little unit. It's beautiful picture. Now, this screen might look pretty good here compared to the PlayStation, but it is very small. It's nice, it closes down when it's connected. It, it sounds loose, but it's got screws. It's got little screws so you can tighten it, keep it tight. Um, I really, really like this unit. <laughs> I, I think I'll definitely be using it um, in the future. Now there's actually a car adapter you can buy so you can play in your car through the cigarette lighter. So that's always fun. The bright, there's a, all there is is a volume knob volume buttons and brightness buttons now it actually gets very very bright and it gets quite loud actually I'm really excited about this unit I can't wait to try out all my PlayStation games on it it's so sharp it's so tiny but if you hold it real close then it's it's really not that bad and if you're engaged in the game you really don't care 
it is a big difference from the large screen but so happy to get this i'm i've been waiting forever to get it okay i'm gonna end this video i don't want to make it too long those are my pickups guys try out growl at least emulate it try it out it's a really fun to beat them up um that's all uh happy gaming happy collecting take care god bless you and i'll see you later